Yeah, Andrew's having an issue. Okay. He, tell. <laughs> he okay. says, here's my issue. Well, I am having odd behaviors on my 2019 iMac, a 16 gigabyte, 3.6 gigahertz core i3. It has a one terabyte drive with only about 250 gigabytes used. There are three or four issues that cause problems. Number one, it attempts to use the Finder search result to use a finder search result in the finder, become non-responsive and having, causing them to have to relaunch the finder. Uh, number two is attempts to search in the mail app result in the mail app becoming non-responsive and having to force quit the mail app. Number three is attempts to print any document to PDF using the print dialog bo box results in that in the app that created the document to become unresponsive. I'm, I'm seeing a theme here. Yeah, uh, Unresponsive and having to force <laughs> quit and restart the app. A workaround for this problem is to open in preview and then save the PDF file from there, and that works fine. Number four, attempts to tag a file with a color marker do not work. Troubleshooting steps that he's gone through are um, and have been done to resolve this issue resulted in temporary elimination of these issues, but they return in a matter of minutes or hours. So he's tried safe boot. Uh, he's tried running titanium software, titanium software's maintenance scripts, which is a great uh, set of yep. scripts uh, and reinstalling big Sur from the recovery partition by starting with command R. Yeah. He says, I'm left, left wondering if there could be some corruption in one or more preference files, but I have no idea which ones might be the culprit. So my first question is, what other repair actions should I take to attempt to resolve these issues on the current iMac and OS? And I think he's also somewhat wondering. Is it time to upgrade? New... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do I need a new Mac? Uh, yeah. It, and that was that was sort of where the question came in. I think maybe the title of the, the subject of the question was, you know, is it time to upgrade to M1? And I, like, I'll address that first. I, no, not necessarily. I, I, it's, I mean, it's never a bad time, uh, except <laughs> yeah. that it is right. Like, you know, you it's going to cost you money. All, all of those things, I, I don't, I, I wouldn't, well, listen, I had a 2019 iMac Intel here in the studio, similar to, to what he has. I think mine was a little faster than his, but not, like, not to the point where it would make a difference for the things he's talking about. And I would still be using that if it weren't, you know, lightning striked this past summer. Uh, it, you know, it's so... No, I don't think this is the reason to upgrade. Uh, there's a few things I'd try if this were mine. I know you said you ran Titanium Software's uh, maintenance scripts. Titanium Software, the folks that make Onyx. Onyx, uh, yeah, that's the app. Uh, yep, yep. I would, I would make sure that for this scenario, especially, that I would go into Onyx, go into maintenance, and turn on everything. And that includes rebuilding the mail index, it definitely includes rebuilding the spotlight index. There's something clearly something wrong with spotlight on this computer. Um, at least that's based, you know, you said you're sensing a theme here. It was like, yeah, same. Uh, right. right. Like, yeah. 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 Um, and, and, you know, you already did the big Sur reinstall over the top. That would have been sort of the next thing that I would try if I were there. Um, and, and, failing all of that or having tried all of that because it seems like you might have kind of done the you know the obvious things for us which means either you've been listening long enough or you you know you learn these things on your own somewhere uh i would i you know open activity monitor and sort by cpu by, by you know uh, and make sure in activity monitor you, you go to view all processes so that you're seeing the entirety of the system and See what it like, see what's chewing your CPU in those moments where it's bogged down. It is not uncommon for me. This is, I mean, I'm, a, I'm Dave and I'm a nerd uh, <laughs> to, to run with activity monitor open just for these reasons. So I can see what's going on or I use, you know, iStat menus or, or stats or, you know, one of those things that lives in the menu bar. But it is sometimes even clicking on the menu bar is impossible in those moments because things are so bogged down. So having a window open with activity monitor already running sorted by CPU showing all processes 
that can be really informative for troubleshooting th- exactly this kind of thing. So um, that's that's if I were there, that's what I would do. I don't know. What do you what do you think, Adam? Uh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> So he says he's done a reinstall of Big Sur. Is that, I'd be curious if that's just an over-the-top like reinstall, or is that a complete wipe and reinstall? I mean, no, that's I the think extreme, that's the over-the-top. Yeah, that's the extreme option, and I don't know that you're there yet. Um, at the same time, too, I'm wondering because I, I still run a 2019 um, Intel Mac. I mean, right. mine's a 16-inch MacBook Pro, and I've got a Core i7 instead of an i3. Um, I'm curious why he's still on Big Sur. He he explained that in a oh, part of it in earlier? a okay. I, I, it, you didn't miss it. I took it out. Um, he's on Big Sur because he had some issues with uh, a FileMaker database that he didn't want to upgrade. Okay. Right. they Fair they enough. didn't want to upgrade enough. at the time, but he did say, "Look, if if upgrading to a more recent OS is." is necessary as part of this. He's like, I don't mind the expense. It's like, we, yeah, need to the solve only reason problem. I'm yeah. hesitating on, on that is because it probably doesn't, if you're having these issues, they're not going to go away by doing an overtop install of another operating system. And that's kind of what I'm getting at. So like, Got it. if some of the other recommendations you gave didn't work, depending upon, I mean, if he's just been doing over the top, over the top, over the top since he got the thing, I mean, I I fell in this camp where every three, four years, I would generally nuke and pave and just restart because you just build up crud over the yes. years. And it's a pain in the butt, and I hate doing it, and it's not fun. And I recommend it, you know, only in the most extreme circumstances. So I would try some of these other things like Dave's recommended, and if there's not a resolution there, then you might have to bite the bullet and try a nuke and pave like do all your backups make sure you've got the multiples and you know where everything is and you know where all your software is to reinstall and all that fun stuff but yeah 